Hi there, and welcome to Magic. This is uh, version 5.5 of Magic that you can see here, which is uh, one of the new features I've done uh, in Magic. Now, of course, probably of uh, far more interest is that now as you are crudifying your database, let's crudify one table here, our to-do's table in our magic underscore sample database doesn't matter really which uh, table or database you use it should work perfectly with both SQL Server and MySQL then when you click the endpoints and you choose the get endpoint you get a whole range of uh, query parameters here and these are basically every column combined with every operator if I just now evaluate here now, then I get all my to-do items. If I now, for instance, want to select all items that contains something in the header, then I can do header dot like equal question, uh, percent something percent. Or I can do done dot equal one. I can do uh, header dot less than equal string, etc. This allows me to do any operator I wish when I'm querying my endpoint, giving you far more rich abilities in your front end. Now, of course, uh, MTEQ means more than or equal, MT means more than, EQ means equal, LTEQ means uh, less than or equal, NEQ here uh, means not equal, and like, of course, means like. So the underlying SQL that is generated will become a like SQL, at which point you can use percentage signs or features like that from the underlying database engine to search for strings that contains a query string. Now, um, another thing I did in one of my previous releases, uh, but which maybe not everybody were actually able of uh, understanding, is that I now have the ability to crudify every single table in one button. Now it's crudifying, it created 36 endpoints with 333 lines of code. I can go to my endpoints here and I can immediately see all of my endpoints. Now, of course, if I want to delete endpoints, then I can just go to the module that contains the endpoint and delete the folder and now the endpoints are gone. And I can do the same with my magic sample, delete the folder. And of course, uh, you can also edit the files. Uh, I'm not entirely sure about how much value that would be for most because the files are created in uh, Hyper Lambda, which is a magic specific, uh, domain specific uh, dynamic programming language that uh, magic is able of automatically creating, but you can if you wish. Um, I can change my file here, I can save it or delete it, etc. And I even have autocomplete here, by the way. So here you see all the functions I happen to have in my Hyperlambda installation. So uh, that's another cool feature. Uh, third feature, which uh, I particularly like myself, is that when you choose one table at a time and you want to crudify one table at a time, you can actually create a log entry here. If I, for instance, create a log entry for get some log entry, right? And then I click crudify. Now, if I go to my evaluator and I evaluate my get HTTP endpoint and I pass in, for instance, limit equal five and header dot like equal sum okay let's try this one now if I now go back to my 
magic.backend and I open up my log here, then I will actually see the entire HTTP REST request in my log for net uh, file here, including its arguments. Some log entry, that was the text I chose, then comes arguments, and beneath here are the actual arguments. So this is the 5.5 uh, uh, version of uh, Magic. Uh, there is a link in the description of this YouTube video where you can download uh, Magic.